Hey guys, I know it's been a minute since I posted anything to my channel. Um, I've been going through some, a lot of stuff trying to get done. Um, my youngest daughter is leaving for college on Thursday and today is Tuesday and I'm on vacation this week to try and get her together. So I decided to take a break because I sent her out to the pharmacy to pick up some of the personal items she needed and I think I'm just gonna do an unboxing of my creative studios um, so yeah let's just get into it so obviously I have not opened this I just cracked this because I hate trying to tear it off this paper look at this cute little card that comes in it he is adorable and if he is in any indication of what's in here very excited okay so this paper is normally like retro theme now it's kind of like retro nature which is kind of neat so let's see what we have here this is retro paper it says antique bookstore and it looks like a plethora of different types, colors, poetry. Very cute. I'm going to go back and read some of them on my own. Um, I think a lot of these came in other kits, but different, like I remember this one, but different sizes and in like, um, you know, bound form. Oh, that's very cute. So yeah, um, Beauty and the Beast. I like that they come in different colors because a lot of times I have a specific color palette in mind when I'm working on a book. And yeah, so the first thing, this looks like a cling stamp. I think it's going to be a squirrel. I did get one squirrel cling stamp from them previously, but it is not this little guy. Oh, look, he's like one of those long-eared squirrels. This is what the other side looks like. So we get a cling stamp of a squirrel. And I always say it like that because when my kids were little, um, one of my friends, one of my daughter's friends got bit by a hamster. She said, that little squirrel bit me, which I thought was so stinking cute. There's another squirrel. <laughs> Here's what he looks like this way. This is the packaging, so that's probably what he's gonna turn out looking like. He's got a very cute face. So, squirrel theme. Here we have some squirrel stickers with the clear back. They always include these black and white stickers. I really like them because when you put them on something, the back just disappears, it's really just looks like it's printed on there, which is cool. Look at how cute they are. Very, very cute. Hmm. Packaging to open, and I just broke all my nails. <laughs> all right, hold on a minute. Let me get something sharp. Plastic wrap off this. Kind of booger up the box, but completely destroyed. Oh, these are adorable. These are like mini tags of different types. Very, very cute. Bear Bear, what are you doing over there? Chill out, bud. He's so confused because. My older daughter came to visit from Pittsburgh for her sister's birthday before she left for college, which was very nice of her because it's a long haul just for a weekend. And um, her and her boyfriend came and then they left and the dog just has such separation anxiety. And then, you know, Donna's friends have been coming to see her before she leaves and help her pack and stuff. It's a lot. It's a lot for him because he's 
such a psycho. I mean, I love him to death, but he is a psycho. Okay, these are pretty cool. They're like um, craft card material, which always makes things look so retro. So a little closer, some of these. Oh, dragonflies, love dragonflies. And mushrooms. We all love mushrooms. So we got a whole box of really cute little tags. The box itself is really pretty too. Um, what is in here? This looks like it might be washi. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Let's see. They're like uh, stickers, but they're craft, uh, craft card color, typewriter, inkwell, grass, some advertising, it's like a castle, a little squello. Ooh, pocket watch, love pocket watches. Looks like a old timey license plate. tower. Oh, cute little bunny rabbit. Florals. So these say North Pole, so they have a Christmas theme. Little cottage. Oh, cute, adorable little owl. Looks like it might be mistletoe. Oh, adorable bee. I think we got a stamp like that in one of our previous kits. Uh-oh. Somebody stuck fast here. He didn't get the right backing. Um, little floral spray. A book. Swallow. And some more squirrels. And I'll put them away later so you don't have to watch me struggle with that. Oh, these are cute. These look like um, post-it kind of notes. Or maybe just, no, they're not sticky, I don't think. They're just, yeah, they're just loose. But they're still very, very cute. And they appear to all be the same. But he is adorbs. Look at him. How cute is that squirrel? Oh my gosh. Some little ephemera type items. Look like tickets mainly. Bear Bear, where are you? Hold on a minute. Sorry, I have to buy a new baby gate. My dog has learned to open the gate. To go down the hallway and dig around in my kids' bedrooms where they leave stuff on the floor. So he's prone to eating things that are not food, which is not coolio. <laughs> because that's very expensive vet bills. So, until I get my new baby gate, gotta keep an eye on him. Oh, that's cute. Look, this is just the packaging. That would be something you could very much use in a journal. These are faux postage stamps, mainly animal themed. There's some nature. I even got some giraffes. Squirrel. Birds. 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 Oops, dropped some, but yeah, so tons and tons of these. I mean, a lot of them are duplicates, but they're all nature, and I got a Lovely handful of them. Uh, 
And this is a beautiful little paper pad with a squirrel motif. Oh, it has several different um, patterns, which is nice. I hope I'm like, actually on screen because I can't see my screen right now. So yeah, there's that. It is actually late. That seems to be um, paper with a sticky back or like mylar with a sticky back. So technically it's lace, but it's, um, it's a sticker. So that's nice. It's always hard to um, glue lace down because, you know, everything comes through the holes and then get all over your fingers. What, is the, what do we have here? love getting these boxes. It's kind of like getting a present. Okay, so it's washi. It has a very, very tiny pattern that looks like handmade paper to me. So, I don't know if you can see. Cute, huh? Nice. Yeah. And then in the bottom we have some actual sheets of what looks to be mulberry or handmade paper. feels very um, light and tissue papery. Yeah, it's more of a tissue paper kind of feel. These are so good for like doing any kind of multimedia. Very cute. And I always check under the bottom make sure I don't throw anything away. Okay, so that is what I got this month from your creative studios. I think everything is very cute and I always love a good nature theme particularly squirrels um, yeah so I've kind of been not just missing because you know I have all this stuff to do with my kids but just not been feeling very inspired um, been doing I did some swaps and I don't know I just feel like when I got the swaps they were so good I felt like suddenly I felt like my work wasn't very good and I I don't know I just didn't feel like I was as good as I thought I was at doing this stuff I don't know that sounds terrible it makes me sound like a horrible person but it just kind of put me in a funk and it could just be all the other stuff that was going on allowed that to put me in a funk. But yeah, I just haven't felt very creative. And I'm hoping, you know, Donna leaves on Thursday. I still have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off for my vacation after that. I'm just hoping to get myself back to a creative state. If not, maybe try some other crafty stuff that I could... I mean, I do tons of other crafts, but I just thought maybe, maybe I'd film some of those. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying healthy and being careful. And if you have the vaccine available to you, I got the vaccine a very long time ago. If we need boosters, I may actually need a booster soon. Because I work for a healthcare facility, I was like one of the first people to have it available to me in our state, and I've had no ill effects. I've actually not, knock wood, gotten sick at all this year. I have asthma, so normally I get like terrible, you know, one terrible summer cold and one terrible winter cold. I didn't get any of that because everybody's being careful, which is nice for me, you know, I don't. Other people get a cold, they get sick for like two days. I get it for like two months. <laughs> anyway, um, take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And I hope you're having a good day. And I missed you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.